Hey everyone, Dr. Emily King here. Welcome back to another how-to video. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to properly remove a tick from your pet. If you're seeing ticks, it certainly is an indicator that tick prevention is in order. We're starting to see an increase in tick-borne diseases. So for example, Lyme disease, ehrlichiosis, and anaplasmosis. Those diseases are transmitted by ticks. So it's really important if you are seeing ticks on your pet, certainly it's an indication that we need to start some type of prevention. Here at All-Star Veterinary Clinic, we recommend a product called Semperica. The reason we recommend Semperica is that it will actually kill the five species of ticks found in North America. In addition, Semperica will kill the ticks fast enough that they're less likely, pretty much nearly impossible for them to transmit disease. So now, how to remove that tick? First of all, don't get a match and burn it off. That does not work and is definitely not recommended. The way we typically will remove a tick will be either with tweezers or with what we call a hemostat. When removing the tick, you want to make sure that your hemostat or tweezers are at the very base of the mouth part that is going into your pet's skin. When you're ready to remove the tick, you want to place your tweezers or your hemostat at the base of the tick's mouth part where it attaches to the skin. Once you've clamped onto the mouth part, you will gently pull away from the skin and remove the tick. Once you have removed the tick, it's not unusual to find a tiny piece of skin attached to the mouth part. By removing a tick this way, you can ensure that you're not leaving any part of the tick under the pet's skin. Hey guys, future Dr. King here. I forgot to mention that ticks don't bury their head when they're feeding, they only bury their mouth part. So rest assured, if you pull the tick off, you're getting all of the tick. No worries about leaving the head under the skin. Lastly, after removing the tick, you will see maybe just a little bit of an area that's red or slightly inflamed where the tick was actually attached to your pet's skin. You can just gently clean that with a little bit of soap and water. No topical ointments necessary. If you have questions or ticks give you the creepy crawlies, just call us. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching this how-to video. If you liked this episode, give us a like below. We'll see you next time on the next how-to video.